Hello everyone, my name is Rinjie Gu. It's a great honor to introduce our work on Wally, an end-to-end -end general purpose and a large-scale production system for device cloud collaborative machine learning. I first introduced the background and motivation of Wally. Nowadays, users can enjoy diverse intelligent services on their mobile devices, such as live streaming, speech recognition, recommendation, and so on. The mainstream mobile machine learning paradigm lets mobile devices send requests with raw data and lets the cloud return results after data processing and model execution. Such cloud-based paradigm encounters the bottlenecks of high latency, high cost and heavy load, as well as high privacy risk. To overcome this problem, the new device cloud collaborative machine learning paradigm emerged. The key principle is that part of a machine learning task can be offloaded to mobile devices, and the cloud and the mobile devices collaboratively accomplish the whole task. This paradigm can leverage the natural device-side advantages of being close to users and at data sources, thereby reducing latency and communication costs, mitigating the cloud-side load, load, and keep private data on local devices. Existing work on device cloud collaborative machine learning tends to focus on the algorithm design and normally for a specific application. However, practical industrial scenarios tend to involve the full cycle of diverse machine learning applications to serve billions of mobile users. Thus, building a general purpose system that can put device cloud collaborative machine learning in large scale production becomes an urgent need. In this work, we design and build such a system called Wally. We first introduce the overall goal. Wally intends to support general device cloud collaboration in each phase of diverse machine learning tasks through exchanging any necessary content. We build Wally in an end-to-end -end way. From the perspective of, the, of a developer, Wally covers the development, deployment, and the runtime stages of each machine learning task. Wally also supports all the runtime phases on both mobile devices and cloud servers, including pre-processing, model training and inference, as well as post-processing. Wally functions as a fundamental machine learning infra infrastructure with standard APIs, masking hardware and software heterogeneity of mobile devices and cloud servers at the bottom, and keeping the lightweight limit of mobile apps. Let's overview the whole architecture of Wally. Wally is oriented by machine learning tasks, which comprises scripts, resources, and configurations. Wally consists of a development platform, a data pipeline, and a compute container catering to machine learning task management and deployment, input preparation, and task execution, respectively. Let's first look at the compute container. During building the compute container, we encounter several practical challenges. First is the long update cycle of mobile apps. Machine learning tasks require frequent experiments and deployments, such that the effectiveness of different algorithms and models can be quickly verified. Second is the heterogeneous backends. The cloud servers and mobile devices significantly differ in hardware and operating systems. Among mobile devices, the ecosystem is even more fragmented. Third is diverse machine learning tasks. Industrial applications involve many kinds of machine learning tasks, requiring diverse model structures. Meanwhile, pre-processing and post-processing also involve lots of image, text, and numerical processing methods. Last is app resource limitation. Each mobile app has only one single process and is under strict resource restriction to guarantee user experience. Let's overview the architecture of the compute container. On the top, we choose the dynamically typed language Python as the script language. We implement a Python virtual machine by refining C Python to support task level multi-threading and perform tailoring for the practical need of a mobile app. Such Python VM-based design is the first in industry and involves the compute container with the capability of dynamic task delivery, decoupling daily machine learning task iteration from monthly or weekly mobile app updates. At the bottom of the compute container, we implement a tensor compute engine along with standard data processing and model execution libraries called MNN. MNN covers data processing and model execution for mobile devices and cloud servers in a unified way. With the new integrated design, MN can expose the high performance of optimized tensor compute engine to different libraries, thereby sharply reducing the workload of optimizing each library on heterogeneous backends. We expose MN to Python virtual machine as standard APIs. For the tensor compute engine at the operator level, we first introduce a novel geometric computing mechanism by extracting a new atomic operator called raster from the transform operators. 
all the transform and composite operators can be decomposed into the atomic operators. Since only the atomic operators need to be optimized for each backend, the workload of manual implementation and optimization can be greatly reduced. At the level of the computation, computation graph for data processing and model execution, we then introduce a novel semi-auto search mechanism to quickly identify the best backend with runtime optimization for a series of op operators. Compared with manual search, semi-auto search not only can sharply reduce the workload, but also can find the optimal parameters with higher probabilities. Regarding Python virtual machine, its base is VCC Python. However, there exist two key problems. The, key, the first problem is that the size of the package is large. Much redundancy exists for mobile apps. The second problem is that the GIL in C Python limits the task level parallel execution capability in the single process mobile app. To reduce the package size, we first perform functionality tailoring by leaving the script compile phase on the cloud and sending only the bytes code to mobile devices for execution, we can delete all the compile-related modules. We also do, the, do library and module tailoring for practical need of mobile Taobao. To support task-level multi-threading, we abandon GIL in Python VM, bind each machine learning task with a thread, and conduct thread isolation. Regarding thread safety, the key is to perform thread-level virtual machine isolation and data isolation. Next, I will introduce the data pipeline in Wally. Considering device cloud communication for redundant raw data, as well as the cloud-side computation and storage for the aggregate data from billions of users, the mainstream cloud-based data pipeline is time-consuming, resource-consuming, error-prone, and uh, privacy-sensitive. For the new data pipeline in Wally, we mainly built a new on-device stream processing framework to enable pr pr processing user behavior data at source. The key is to well manage the trigger conditions of multiple stream processing tasks for concurrent triggering to generate different features. Thus, we model matching multiple trigger conditions with the event sequence as a string matching problem with multiple wildcard patterns and organize trigger conditions with a tree. When a task is triggered, the scripts will be run in the compute container to process relevant element to process relevant events. We also establish a real-time tunnel to transfer device side fresh features to the cloud for use. In particular, the real-time tunnel is based on the persistent connection. The secure socket layer protocol is optimized to reduce the time of connection establishment, encryption, and decryption. To deal with high throughput, a fully asynchronous service framework is built on the cloud. Next, I will introduce the last system component in Wally, the deployment platform. During design and implementation, we have met some practical considerations. First, the frequent experiments and the deployment for daily machine learning task iteration raises the timeliness requirements of the deployment platform. Second, is massive multi-granularity task deployment requirements. Hundreds of tasks need to be deployed to billions of devices. The release of each task also needs to incorporate app versions, device-side and user-side differentiation. We also encounter some challenges. First is intermittent device availability. Each mobile device's availability is dynamic due to the unstable wireless network and the frequent switch of app running status. Second is potential task failure. The failure of any task will lead to the crash of the whole single process mobile app, seriously impacting user experience. Further, due to the massive task deployment requirements, it is impractical to test each pre-release task on all relevant types of real devices. Let's look at the design details of the de deployment platform. To achieve massive multi-granularity task de deployments, we implement uniform and customized deployment policy. The cross-grained uniform deployment supports task release grouped by the app version and involves only shared resources, while the customized fine-grained deployments can further support grouping by device-side information and user-side information, and can additionally involve exclusive resources. To guarantee the timeliness of task deployments, we propose, we propose a normal push and pull method based on transient connection, where the push functionality reuses the existing client-side HTTP request for business services, while the pull functionality is via CDN and CEN. For the robustness of task deployments, we introduce task simulation tests with the cloud-side 
compute container before release and enforce releasing task in steps while allowing rollback in the case of task failure. Let's get into the evaluation part. I first showed the practical performance into major e-commerce scenarios of Alibaba. First is about the performance of the compute container for highlight recognition in Taobao's live streaming. Under the conventional cloud-based design, the load of the cloud is so heavy that only part of video streams and only a few sampled frames can be analyzed. To overcome the bottleneck, we offload a lightweight model to each streamer's mobile device to do on-device inference and decisions. Only those video streams which are recognized with low confidence on the mobile device need to be processed by the cloud-side large model. By device cloud collaboration, the cloud-side load sharply reduces while the number of the covered streamers and the size of daily recognized highlights dramatically increase. Second is about the data pipeline in e-commerce recommendation. In Alibaba's recommendation scenarios, the item page view feature, which records a user's behaviors in the detailed page of an item, is of significant importance. Under cloud-based paradigm, all users' raw event data are uploaded to the cloud for stream processing, which is quite time-consuming, resource-consuming, and error-prone, as listed on the top right. With Wally's new data pipeline, as shown on the left, each mobile device needs to process only a small size of the co corresponding user's local events, sharply reducing latency, communication, and storage overhead while improving the timeliness and the validity of feature. Third is about the statistics of Wally's machine learning task deployment. Wally has been put in production use since the end of 2017 and running for roughly 1,500 days and being invoked more than 153 billion times per day. Wally has deployed more than 1,000 kinds of machine learning tasks in total and is now maintaining more than 300 kinds of active tasks on more than 30 mobile apps with more than 0.3 billion daily active users. The right figure shows the release and deployment process of a randomly selected machine learning task. We can see that all 7 million online devices are covered in 7 minutes, and all the target 22 million devices are covered in 90 minutes. These statistics show the scalability of Wally and the timeliness of the deployment platform. We also extensively conduct benchmark testing for MN, Python's red level virtual machine, and real time tunnel. We first compare MN with TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, PyTorch, PyTorch Mobile on the mainstream hardware backends using several commonly used models. We can observe that MN significantly outperforms the other deep learning frameworks. Besides, MN is also more full featured on the side of mobile devices, given that MN can support all the models on each device side backend, whereas TensorFlow Lite and PyTorch Mobile fail to support some backends or models. We continue to compare MN with TVM. From the evaluation results, one key observation is that MN's semi-auto search only costs hundreds of milliseconds, is significantly faster than TVM's auto-tuning, which costs thousands of seconds. We can draw that MN can support the industrial scenarios that involve numerous heterogeneous devices and require frequent and a quick task iteration, whereas TVM cannot. The second key observation is that the inverse time of MN is is lower than TVM for each model on each backend. Such superiority is mainly due to the manual operator level and backend level optimization in MLN. We next compare Wally's Python's red level virtual machine with the original C Python. Results show that Python's red level virtual machine gains great performance improvement. We can draw that task level multi threading without GIL is the key of performance boosting. We finally report the latency of the real-time tunnel over roughly 364 million uploads. We can find that more than 90% of uploads are under 3 kilobytes with less than 250 milliseconds on average. Finally, let's conclude the talk. In this work, we design and build the first end-to-end -end general purpose and large-scale production system called Wally for device cloud collaborative machine learning. The compute container in Wally comprises MN, which introduces ge geometric computing and semi-auto search, and a Python virtual machine, which abandons GL and supports task-level multi-threading. The data pipeline in Wally introduces on-device stream processing with tree-based concurrent task triggering to enable processing user behavior data source. The deployment platform in Wally supports fine-grained task release and deployment to billion-scale devices with strong timeliness and robustness. Evaluation in practical e-commerce scenarios and extensive micro-benchmarks have demonstrated the superiority of Wally. Wally has been in large-scale production use in Alibaba, while MNN has been open-sourced with a broad impact in this community. 
That's all for my talk. Thanks for listening. Comments and questions are welcome.